Righto guys, welcome back to the hunting channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna do how to build your own target for zero dollars. Got my mate Brendan up here at the moment. My bow come back after getting a new string on it and it was actually out of tune a little bit. And so in my frustration of trying to um, get my bow to shoot broadheads and field points the same, I've totally destroyed my target. Give you guys a look at that. I was telling Brendan that I was about to buy a new target and he said, why don't we just build one? So he's built one similar down at his place and he said, you can build it for absolutely nothing. All you've got to do is go and look for the materials. Just going to show you guys what we're going to use to build the target. Then we're going to get into it and it should be a really quick and easy build. We've already cut most of the pieces up. First of all, we got three pallets. You only need, pretty much you only need one pallet per target. These ones were a bit um, funny, so we had to use two pallets. Uh, we just went to our local, we went and picked up some pig food and she had some pallets sitting in her backyard and we asked if she was using them. She said, no, you can take as many as you want. Uh, the second thing is you'll need some bulker bags. So these are bulker bags. These work fantastic for shooting into because as you shoot them, they sort of self heal. Uh, they're sort of a fill them up one time only use. So a lot of places, construction sites are throwing them out. We actually found these in a bin on a construction site. Asked the workers at the time if we could have them. They said, sure, why not? And then they chucked us three, three, three big bulker bags. You'll only need one bulker bag. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to cut out, um, see, they're your sides. So depending on how big your bulker bag is, you want to cut out your sides. So Brennan's cut down here with a little scalpel across the bottom and up the side, which gave us 1050 by 800 mil target. Yep. So these are them chopped out and we've taken the, um, the handles off them as well. So I'll give you guys a look at them. So knowing that, then we've, so we've chopped up the wood exactly the same as our biggest pieces of the bulk bags. Um, six pieces at 10 by 50 and six pieces at 800. 800. So that's how big our target's gonna be. And then using our little cross members, the thicker pieces that come with your pallets, we've chopped four at 295. So that's all you'll need. You'll need the bulker bag, you'll need the pallet, uh, both of which we got for free. And then finally, you'll need a ton of plastic. So this is all the cling wrap and patch packaging that you find at the back of shops in their bins. So we grabbed as much as we could. Unfortunately, we went there the day after bin day, so we struggled to find um, packaging, but we got as much as we could, and hopefully that's enough to do our target. We may need to get more, but you want to fill an entire bulker bag full of, um, of plastic. Just any sort of plastic. Uh, the cling wrap's the best stuff. There's a bit of bubble wrap there as well. Just as much as you can find. Uh, just go out the back of the dumpsters, ask the the local shop owners if they don't mind you going through their dumpsters to grab as much plastic. So far we've spent zero dollars on materials. Brendan had a heap of um, screws left over in his car, but so for the pallet, the bulker bags and the plastic, you can all find for free as long as you go looking for it. What's the first job? Oh. So pretty much cutting up all your pieces. You've got a couple more of the um, corner brackets to go and the rest are all cut up. So I'll just cut a few of them and um, yeah, cut up a few bits to do on the top on it as well. So that's our last corner piece at 295. Yep. Right, so we're gonna start by making the vertical sides. So we've got our 1050 pieces, they've all been cut, and we're gonna go 1050 high by 800 wide because you want your target slightly higher than wide, wider. Got the uh, two corner brackets here, and these are gonna be, um, these are your verticals for your sides. You just wanna square it all up, line it all up nice and neat. slightly smaller, it's four and a half mil. Four and a half? Yeah, it's just that. Uh, and then we just got out your standard wood screws? Yeah, they're just your batten screws going in the side. So they're 50 mil battens. It's one side. Time to make the second side. So we're just gonna lay down the target to make sure it's all square. And you're gonna just gonna do two, one top and bottom to make sure it all lines up. And then get your 800 mil pieces. So we're just going to start by doing one end. Yep. Just 
just pre-drill and screw. Drilling into your corner piece. So just putting it straight through there. So we're just going to repeat the process for the other two 800mm pieces on top and bottom. And then we're going to put the bulker bags on. Righto, so once you've got all your sides on, that's what it's going to look like. And the next step is to put the bulker bags on. So we've got our bulker bags already cut out of our sides. So using, using a little hand stapler with a couple of staples in it. Just going to try and get it as um, tight as possible. So once you've got them in, they're not going all the way in because they're hardwood. You're just going to give them a little tap with the hammer. Beautiful. So just go around and make sure it's all stapled out. Put one every sort of 50 mil, 60 mil. Yeah, about 50, 60 mil. Just work your way around, yeah. Alright, so we've stapled it. We went a lot closer than 50 mil. Probably every 30 mil. Yeah, every second one. Yeah, it's a bit hard. They're staples. These are hardwood pallets, so it didn't go in as easy, but you can see it's nice and tight, and it's only going to get tighter once the plastic's in there. So Brennan's just going around now with the scalpel and just going to trim it up just outside the staples. And then you want to do the same to the other side. Right, so normally you take out a top board to stuff your plastic in, but just to save a little bit of time, we've sort of got it 75% filled. You want to jam pack it as tight as you can, but we're going to put the top, top one on now. Put both our sides on. There you go, you can see that. And we've mostly packed it, but you can see how much room we've got. You want it as bulging as much as possible, eh? Yeah, packed, yeah. So make sure you really make sure you're getting a lot of staples in the side there. So we're going to jump on that and try and get as much plastic in there as possible. It looks like we're only about half full. So just take that top centre one off. Any of this leftover bulker bag stuff, put that in. <laughs> get rid of half your rubbish. At least they can see it. Put your board back on once you've got all the plastic in there. There it is. So now we're just going to put a little bit of a skirting board around the outside. We're going to cut one of these in half at 10, 50 and 800 with a 45 on it. So we've got top and bottom. And then we'll do the other 45s and then we're going to screw it together. There it is ladies and gentlemen, we just finished. We just added a little bit of a skirting on the outside. Our rustic free target completely free zero dollars look at that so we're about to go and have our first shots at it eventually we will draw aiming points on it as well yeah we'll mark center for your bullseye put a few other marks but we're going to go set it up in the yard next to that target over there and have our very first shot at it second shot so we ran out of plastic we're gonna to have to get some more plastic the first one nearly went all the way through so we just need to jam a little bit more plastic in there but and it just had the first shot we pulled back out, had a second shot. This is the third shot. There we go, let's go have a look. So we're gonna have to put a little bit more plastic in there. We ran out of plastic. So we'll go to the dumpsters, do a little bit more dumpster diving. Right, so we just made a few improvements on the target. Just double faced it, um, put a few more staples in there. Um, longer screws on the skirting as well, so they're all rock solid. And this morning we went back down to um, Townsville and picked up some more plastic because we've actually lost a couple of arrows into the river. So really gonna jam it down. We keep, we thought we were close to full, but no, probably only half, hey? Could have a bit more in there. So yeah, we're gonna load her full and hopefully this time we're gonna have, be able to stop some arrows. So still free target. But yeah, we're going to load her up with some more plastic. 
this cling wrap stuff's the best stuff. So that, that'll stop your arrows faster than any other sort of plastic. So if you can find that, that's what you're looking for. So I'm gonna give Brendan a hand and we're gonna have part two, take two on the free target. <laughs> Well, there it is, guys, all filled with plastic. Two sheets on either side. We've just marked out a couple of crosses. Big one for the center, some smaller ones if you're closer in. And, um, yeah, she's ready to go. We're about to have a first, second shot at it. Brendan's going to film. There you go. Don't be lying there. You might die, mate. What are you doing? That's about 20, I reckon? Yeah, 20, I reckon. I think that stopped it pretty well. Yeah. Have another one. Put two in there and then we'll go have a look. Yeah. That wind's bad. <laughs> a little bit of wind, eh? I'll take it. See where the trees go. Shouldn't miss that. It's big enough, eh? I shouldn't miss it. Stopped them pretty solid. Yeah, have a look out the back. About two or three inches out the back. That's way better than last time. Last time we were losing the Fletcher. Now check the pull out test. Let's see how hard it is. Easy as. Not super easy. I got a little lip where my arrow's gonna have to change that, but where the broad head, the um, field points come up again so I get stuck on the material. If I put my lighter heads on, that'll that'll come out so easy. That's awesome, Brennan. Thanks for showing us. There you go. Um, that's awesome. Many arrows are gonna go through this. 